This is the new look for Bernina Embroidery Software 7. Let's get started by just bringing in an embroidery. The quickest way to bring in an embroidery is to use the insert embroidery icon. It's right next to the insert artwork icon. If we select that, you can see right away I have thumbnails not only of my art designs but of other file formats as well. I'm going to select my design and I'm going to select open and the new thumbnail view is not just for working within the embroidery but if you're browsing on your hard drive you can look on your hard drive and notice that you can see the different file type thumbnails not just art and exp but the other file formats as well just as you're browsing on your hard drive on your computer now that my design is on my screen it comes in groups so they don't accidentally pull a, a bit or a piece off of it i also have the opportunity to make a change without ungrouping if i wanted to just select a small piece i can hold the alt key down and just select a piece and change its color it's quick and easy to change colors now using our new color dialog on the right hand side of your screen. I can select the entire design and change all the colors. So if I'm working on a project and I'd like to change the colors of my design, I can use our new improved color wheel. This lets me pick from different color schemes. Analogous, complementary colors, I can swing the slider around and get all different color ranges. I could select monochromatic, so if I'm working on a project, say I'm working on a quilt, and I just need greens for my project, I can choose values, colors, and as soon as I have something I like, I select OK. And my entire design has been transformed to match my project. One of our favorite new features is the ability to change between metric measure and US measurements. So if I'm looking at my design and I'd like to see the size, I can look right up here in the new dialog and see that my project is about four and three quarters inch wide and about two and a half inches high. If I'd like to add lettering to my design, I can just click on the lettering icon click on the screen and type whatever I would like to have lettered and we have brand new fonts added. We now have a group designed especially for very small embroidery. I now have the ability to open up the edit toolbox and break my lettering apart and this breaks apart sentences into words and then if I break apart again I could break this apart into the individual letters and this allows me to customize again by using our new slider and our toolbox for color where I can just select an item and then scroll through the different colors for my design. I could right click and go back into my dialog and change the font to anything that I like. This makes lettering much simpler and easier to customize. To see if my design fits in my hoop, I can turn on my hoop view and we now have a new realistic hoop view. I can even see what this design is going to look like if I select to put it on a project. I can open up design, background, and select to change my background color, preview it on fabric types, or even select an article that I might embroider this on. If I were to select, say a men's polo shirt, I could select from different types. I'll select one with a pocket. I can change the color, even more colors, and custom colors are available. If I select that and say OK, I select my design. I'll drag a bounding box around it, and then I can move it onto my project and position it to see exactly what it would look like on my finished project.